Hello guys, uh, coming with you with another video. Uh, I got asked on one of the comments on my other videos how to find unique dinos. Uh, there's three ways that I know of. First one is super easy because you don't have to do anything, you get lucky, more or less. Uh, as you can see, I have Vash right in front of me, and that leads me to my second, other than the big giant bubble of blue. Um, that's a great indication that um, Vash is close by. Rash is a unique raw golem. I just happen to find one that's not aggressive towards me, so I can show you uh, the third way. The second way is this mod. Now this mod, I'm sorry, I, I am not prepared for it. I will put the mod ID in the description if you guys want to install it on your guys' server. However, this is how you use it. You go in your inventory, you hit Creature Finder Deluxe. Um, you type any creature, uh, his name is Vash. Hit Vash, tells me where he is, how many of him. Um, also works for Paragons, uh, so Paragon, and it shows you all the available Paragons on the server if you want to hunt them, but we are showing unique dinos today, so we're going to do him. So that is the second way, and if I know a lot of people are like, oh, you're using a mod, it doesn't feel like the right Look, I work 40 hours a week. I'm married and I have a ton of responsibilities. I just want to come in and relax. So this mod helps me do that. And this mod is called, looking for it. I have all the mods right in front of me and I can't seem to find it. Oh, Creature Finder Deluxe. Uh, it's the mod that it's called. The mod ID will be on the bottom. Third way, the or the way that it's meant to be done, is tracker. Tracker, and I just use the PT because it's easy. You can be safe. Um, the higher the tier of the dino, the farther away it can send stuff. So I just had found this one, tamed it, and I want to show you guys. Um, that have gone on there. So right here, when the ability refreshes, you're gonna press X. We know where Vash is, right? We we know. But you're flying around, you don't see a mantis or something, but you're flying around your PT and just press X. It tells you right there in bold letters, unique has been found. So and look, it goes really, really far. And I will just wait another 30 seconds. I'll show you guys the because it's a mega tier. The radius is about uh, a col uh, one kilometer. So let's see. Let's uh, test the Vash since we have a. Let's not go where the singularity was. We don't want this thing to die. It's a brand new baby. So let's see if we go about a kilometer out. We're at 300. Let's test it at 500. Waste too much time. 500. All right. Okay. So no, I got lied to. It's not that big. So about 300. You're flying around. Let's, let's try it at 300. 350. That's a uh, respectable. You can't see the bubble, right? You have no idea he's here. When does the bubble pop up? Or maybe it doesn't. Or maybe we're all in his bubble. Anyways. Uh, 350. That seems like a respectable range. Boom. There you go. 350 worked. So you're flying. You go, oh, unique. Where? 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 You're kind of flying around. You're flying around. And you're looking, depending on the tier, it doesn't tell you the tier, but the gold, the stuff you see above their heads with the circle, it depends what tier they are. Uh, so you look and you're like, oh, it's Vash. Level 23. 
What a piece of crap. So that is the tracker, Omega tracker paragon. Any tracker does the same thing. This just happens to be the easiest one I can show you guys. I'm on a few quests here. So. Boom. I got the unique kill though. There you go. That is how you find uniques in the Omega Arc mod. Now, because this is going to be a short video, and you guys know I don't do short videos for one reason or another, we will show you how to breed uniques really quick. I promise you. I, I have plenty of bolts here. And I've been wanting to make a bolt. Beta bolt. Uh, Paragon. PT. Don't judge me. I'm a hoarder. And we also, uh, Alpha Dodo does tame a, a lot. Or doesn't tame, he farms a lot of guns. So, what was our level? Beta. So beta, alpha, prime, ultimate, omega. I tamed that one just in case I kill it, because funny story, last time I killed it was to the group god um, that had self-destruct. I wasn't far away enough. And this is how Bold V2 has been born. Alright, so... Boop. Female, female. Sorry, bud. Or too dead, I suppose. So you you want you can do it at any tier. You don't need to do it on um, Omega tier. It just makes sense to me to do it then, and that's how I do it. So you can choose whatever tier you want to be. But so we have come the gen splicer it's part of the omega arc mod everybody has it you select the female omega bolt and off bolt so it tells you they need eight of each eight and female and you can't put them in here as you can see it does nothing is this attempt to merge paragons don't try it Merging is you need two different types. So this one already has eight, right? It's like Paragon uh, 10, 20, 33. So we don't have to touch him. He has the eight. This one needs the eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just going to do this real quick. Now, it's going to take about two minutes to give birth to this egg. Just a heads up. Oh, and just a FYI, mutations work here. I know, look at me. I, mean, I, I used to breed, all right? I like breeding. It makes sense. So we're going to hit him no mutation just because we might get a... What are we missing? Five, six, seven, eight. Did I miss count? That's nine. Oh, so, okay, good. Because we pre-selected it before we pumped in the gones into this one, the one that didn't have it, we have to reselect it. And boom, it works. So we're gonna go boop. Now, when you do this, all the gones, you see, I put nine in him. There's only one left because it took eight out. All right, so it's, it sacrificed the gones that it had. Uh, do we have any stats? Uh, 24, 23, 33, 26. All right. So we're going to come over here because this guy picked it up. We're going to hatch it, just hatching any normal thing. And then I have a mod that makes me get the best stats out of the egg. So I'm going to put it in here. And we're going to hatch it. 
And it's gonna be my new uh, bolt, and I'm gonna dump a hundred paragons in it because why the hell not? We we might have enough paragon breakers for my experiments. Again, my tribe mate's amazing, and this is all thanks to him that I can do this gnarly, stupid crap. Two minutes. Um. Uh, I gotta show you a unique dino anyways, because I said I would do it every video. Um, oh, I know! <laughs> Everybody hunts for this one. Don't look, don't look, these these are not... Uh, answer. I don't know that one. We got the unique Tuso, alright. Oh, we got all this stuff to... Aha! Everybody, meet unkillable. I'm gonna hitch him so he doesn't run away. Perfect stopping. Unkillable. Ghost ain't uncontrollable. Fun fact the only two dinos you can ride is that are uncontrollable is Therizinos. And Danes, because of their unique saddles, gives you that ability. So this is uncontrollable. Let me pull up his stats for you guys, so I can tell you what is multiplied by. Unique dinos. Uncontrollable. Or unkillable, I believe. Unkillable, Scouted Thirds, you know. His stats multiply by 384. This is the what everybody looks for. This is one of the overpowered dinos. Um, unfortunately, due to technical difficulties with this mod, we lost all our skeleton paragons for him. And it has to be skeleton paragons for him because he is a skeleton variant. Uh, something went wrong in the mod when they moved to 3.0 and we couldn't take him out of the the compressor. Don't know why. Um, nobody ever got back to us. I submitted a video, but I'm sure they will fix it soon. Or it's fixed and just the old things got corrupted. But yeah, he is... Oops, sounds like Bolt is done. Oh, we have triplets! Oh, I messed up. I didn't get the... Yeah, whatever. I got plenty of them. So the mutation went into stamina, which is not bad, honestly. But I got triplets out of that. So. There you go. Omega Bolt. And he will be imprinted. So you also get that 30% um, damage reduction and damage increase on him. On top of it that's why I wanted to make one because this is my go-to guy yeah as you can see in the top right we are writer imprinted so it's very nice except I'm gonna breed a better one but I love you Paul all right guys thank you for watching that will be the episode on finding unique dinos the three ways to find them getting lucky the mod and the tracker dino for any of my hardcore uh, viewers or the ser your server doesn't offer it because you're not the owner. Um, gen splicing that you can mutate your dino and uh, our creative dino of or unique dino today showcase is unkillable. We literally just got this one. So. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down and tell me why. Leave a comment. If you want to see something, leave a comment. If you think I'm doing a decent job, just talk to me. Um, if you guys want to come to our server, I will have the Discord and the server IP in there. If you guys want to join us on RAG or on VAL. We're more than welcome to have you. Or you just want to join the Discord server and ask a question. That's fine too.
thanks for watching guys and see you on the next one